Okay, so you decided. You're moving to St. Augustine. But one of the questions that pop up in your head is, what's the cost of living there? How much is a mortgage? How much are transportation costs? How much are utilities? Well, if you're looking for more information about the cost of living here in St. Augustine, then this is the video for you. So please stay tuned. What's up everyone? This is Thomas with Keller Williams here in St. Augustine, Florida. And if you're looking for everything you need to know about eating, working, sleeping, living, and the cost of living here in St. Augustine, Florida, then this is the video for you. So please tap that subscribe button below, like, and if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll get right back to you. And please reach out if you have anything that you need to be taken care of. Give me a call, shoot me a text, email, whatever that needs to be. I'm here for you. We have tons of people reaching out and we'd love to help out. The first thing I wanted to cover in the cost of living here in St. Augustine is going to be the housing cost here in the area. Now, our market right now is very competitive. It definitely is in a seller's market. We have just over a month of inventory, which means if we were to stop putting homes on the market right now, we would sell out of everything we have in about a month, which is crazy. Uh, right now, homes, the list of sale price is going at about 102%. So for easy math, if you're buying a home at $100,000, we're expecting it to sell at $102,000. Now, if you're looking to leverage financing and get a mortgage, then what's that gonna look like for you? Well, if you put 20% down on a $380,000 house, that's gonna be around $76,000, which is that 20%. And then your monthly payment after that is gonna be in that 18 to $2,000 a month range, just depending on your insurance and your taxes. Um, this is not including any utilities that you may have for the property, but just what your monthly payment would be, including your principal, your interest, your taxes, and your insurance. As I said before, the housing market here is very competitive. We are seeing appreciation in homes uh, year over year from June of last year. Our average sale price was around 318,000. We're now at 381,000. That's about a 20% increase year over year. The one thing that may affect your, uh, your payment a little bit is going to be your taxes. Now, typically we estimate that's gonna be about 1.2% of the total purchase price but I'm gonna to get to that later on in the video. So if you, if you keep watching, I'm gonna cover taxes towards the end. Now, if you are looking to get a rental, let's just say you're looking for a three bed, two bathroom rental somewhere in St. Augustine. Now that's gonna depend on uh, your preferences as a person and what you're looking for, but you could expect to pay anywhere between 2000 and $3,000 a month. Now, of course, you could go below that. You could go above that, just depending what you're looking for. Uh, but on average, I would say between $2,000 and $3,000 a month. Most landlords are looking for first months, last months, and a security deposit to move in. Um, and then, of course, if you, if you need to know other things like pets and stuff, you're going to have to go directly to the landlord to see if they're willing to do that. If you are looking to get into a rental, actually here in Florida, it's a little bit different than everywhere else, uh, where property managers control most of the rentals here because of our short-term rental market. So if you do need a property manager, if you are looking for a rental here in our area, just reach out to me and I'll, I'll put you in contact with a great property manager here in the area. The second thing that I wanted to talk about here on the cost of living in St. Augustine is going to be the transportation cost around here in the area. Uh, so mostly people are gonna drive, mostly everyone here owns a car. Uh, the gas prices in this area are gonna be from about $2.85 to $2.95, just depending on what's going on in, in the world. Uh, of course, last year they were much lower uh, when COVID was going on, but now they're hovering around $2.85, $2.95 a gallon. Now, if you're looking to get service done in your vehicle, of course, you can go to any uh, quick service oil change and get that done for about $50. But if you need anything major done in your vehicle, if you need to take it to a dealership, I would expect to pay about $100 an hour. Now, of course, you can find cheaper. You can find more expensive, just depends on the type of car you have uh, and your preference in mechanic. 
If you are looking to utilize the bus, they do have a bus route around St. Augustine. Uh, it's about $2 for a one-way ride. If you wanted to get a monthly pass, it's gonna be about $30. You can also get memberships that will cut that price in half, um, but that's up to you if you wanna ride the bus and how much you're gonna need that. The third thing on our list that I wanted to talk about is going to be the utilities. Uh, so I, I went ahead and I, go, I went and looked it up. Uh, on average, it's gonna be about 10.4 cents per, per kilowatt per hour here in Florida, or at least in St. Augustine. Um, for me, myself personally, I keep my air at about 76 degrees during the day. I like it to get a little bit colder at night, so I go down to 72 and then back to 76 in the morning. So my average cost for utilities is gonna be somewhere between 100 to $200. The $200 are gonna be more in the summer months. When you get to the winter, you really don't even need to run the AC or the heat for that matter. You can just really leave your windows open. So that's where it's gonna be much cheaper, maybe even $100, maybe even under $100, maybe even under $100 depending on your use. Guys, if you are getting value from this video, please do me that favor. Tap that subscribe button below, like the video, comment if you have any additional questions. I'd love to be able to help out. The fourth thing on our list that I wanted to cover is going to be the cost of food here in the area. Now, I'm gonna speak on my personal self here. Me and my fiance, we like to go out to eat and we also like to buy groceries. A lot of times we're buying the groceries and they go bad in the fridge because we're going out to eat so much. Uh, but between the both of us, it just depends what you're looking to do on your preferences of the night. Maybe you just wanna go down and grab some tacos, something quick, uh, you know, that could cost you $30 for a quick meal. If you're looking to go a little bit fancier, maybe you wanna to go to a steakhouse, have a bottle of wine, you know, do the whole uh, dressing up and, and going out thing, then you're probably gonna spend somewhere in the range between 50 to $125 or $150, just depends. Maybe you get another bottle of wine, I don't know. Uh, but it just depends on your preference and how you like to go out and drink and experience things. Now, you're not always gonna wanna go out to eat, so you are gonna have to cook some things at home, unfortunately. Um, me, myself, we spend about 100 to $150 a week on groceries. Um, of course, we do go out to eat a lot, so some things do go bad, uh, but we are spending about 100 to $150 a week, so about 400 to $550 a month, let's say, on groceries. The fifth thing I wanted to talk about on this list is going to be the healthcare cost here in the area. Now I'm gonna speak on something personal here. I just went for the cheapest plan. I'm a young, healthy man. I don't have any pre-existing conditions. So the cheapest plan is gonna be around $300 a month for you. Um, and then also it's gonna be a $5,000 deductible as well. So that's gonna be the cheapest plan. Of course, if you wanted to, you could go way above that um, and you know get a, a Cadillac plan comparatively to what I have. But for me personally, it's, it's not a big concern. So you can spend from 300 to probably you know, 1,500 to $2,000 a month on health insurance. The sixth thing that I wanted to talk about on this list is going to be the median income of the city of St. Augustine. So if you're an individual person here just living on your own, you could expect to make well, the average person would expect to make around $28,000 a year. Now, of course, you can make way more than that. You can make less than that as well, but the median is gonna be $28,000 a year. For a household, it's gonna be about double that, gonna be $54,000 a year for a household. Now, I do know bartenders downtown St. Augustine that make around $50,000 a year, and that's probably what they leave on the paper. Uh, it doesn't count what they take home in tips and cash. Uh, so if you know, it, you can make more than that, you can make less than that. It just depends what you do for work. As we talked about earlier in this video, we talked about taxes a little bit about on, if you're looking to estimate real quick, you can pretty much do 1.2% of the purchase price. So if it's a $100,000 house times 1.2%, you're gonna have a $1,200 property tax payment. Now there are uh, other resources as well. St. Johns County does have a property tax estimator, so you can put in your purchase price and it will tell you based on the area you are in, how much your property taxes could be. Also here in Florida, if you choose to make Florida your primary residence, you do have something that you can enact called the Homestead Exemption, which will take $50,000 off of your taxable value. So if your home is taxed at $300,000, this would bring you down to $250,000. So your taxes would be based off of that.
One other thing to mention about taxes here is we have a sales tax of about 6.5%. And we also have no state income tax. So when you go to file your taxes, you only file federal taxes, no state income taxes. Now, this is something that I covered in another video in depth, but just to go over real quick what you might be looking for, I'm gonna switch to the maps and the prices here in the area just so you get a better idea. A single family home is gonna go north of $500,000. Of course, you could get some for cheaper than that, but I would just expect to pay somewhere um, north of 500,000 um, if you're looking for a single family home here in the area. Um, now, if you're looking for a condo or a townhouse, now uh, that could range depending on your, your preferences and your tastes, but I would expect to pay anywhere from 150 uh, you know, to a million dollars if you're looking to have the penthouse suite this area here, you're, you're definitely going to spend north of $500,000 for a single family home. It's, it's a historical area. There's tons of homes that are older than 100 years old. Uh, so you do have a mix of like that Key West cottage style and the traditional vibe down there. Uh, there's some ranch homes spotted in between as well. Uh, there's not too many single family, or sorry, my mistake. There are not too many condo townhomes in this area. There are some condos and townhomes uh, a little bit more north here on San Marco. Um, but in this area, I would say expect to pay $200,000 north for a, a condo or a townhouse in this area. This is the one area I want to talk about uh, if you are considering moving here and you still want that small town beach vibe. I believe Volano Beach is going to have that. Now, single family homes, you're definitely going to spend north of $500,000 being here in this area. Of course, depending on your, your preferences, could go a little bit more, could be a little bit less. Um, but as our market appreciates, I think it's going to keep going up. Uh, we will see it keep going up here a little bit more. Now, if you're looking for a condo and a townhouse, I would say that you're going to spend north of $300,000, depending on you know what, of course, you need and your preferences in the home. Um, but this area here, this is the main road here, A1A. It's a scenic highway. You can see the ocean from the, the road here. And along here, you're also gonna see stretches of condos, townhouses, and million dollar houses along the waterfronts here and along these intercoastal stretches. A lot of these people are gonna have intercoastal access onto here with boat docks and boat ramps, um, which gives them you know, a great opportunity to access the water, come down here to St. Augustine, hang out in the marina, maybe pull up their boat and go downtown. Now, if you're looking for a home here in this area here, uh, I would say that if you're looking for a single family detached home, I would expect to pay north of $300,000. Of course, there are certain areas where you can get a home for cheaper than that. Just depends on what your preferences are personally, uh, style of home, size of home, um, all those we can factor in when you want to talk about it. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for a single family detached home, definitely expect to pay north of $300,000. There are new construction homes right here that are roughly around $330,000, but there's also resales going exactly for that over here in the South for $350,000. Um, if you're looking for a condo or a townhouse, and this area is probably gonna run north of $150,000, uh, just depending of course what you're looking on, how many bedrooms, how many square feet, what kind of amenities are gonna come with it. Uh, so that, that all just depends on what specifically you are looking for. Most of this is undeveloped land out here. As you get closer to downtown St. Augustine, the beaches, you're seeing more and more development. And that is starting to continue its way out from the east to the west, from downtown St. Augustine, the beaches, coming closer and closer to 95. Now, homes in this area, I would say, are probably going to go north of $300,000. Uh, you do have uh, a lot of brand new communities popping up in here, um, which is really nice. There are a whole bunch of amenities here in the area as well. Mostly going to be single family detached homes. There are also condo communities and townhome communities within here. Uh, but I would say to expect north of um, $200,000 if you're looking for a townhouse or a condo here in the area. Okay, so as you look here in this area, um, you know, this is going to be the area where if you're looking for uh, a single family home in an amenity center, then this is probably the, the ideal section for you. Uh, there's tons of country clubs out here. There's going to be huge golf courses out here. World Golf Village is in this area. 
Um, but if you're looking for sprawling amenities, lap pools, tennis courts, basketball courts, um, community events, then this area right here is probably going to be where you want to land. They have tons of new construction here in this area. A lot of that is driven because, of course, you, your distance to Jacksonville because uh, you are right here off of 95. So if you do need to commute into the city, it is a great area to live as well. Guys, if I if I provided some value in this video, if you found something you liked, if I made you think about moving to St. Augustine, please do me that solid. Subscribe below, like, comment if you have any additional questions I might be able to answer. Uh, give me a call, shoot, shoot me a text, email, whatever it is, I'm here to help.